Oh boy. It's okay. It's okay. You know what? I'm feeling a lot more confident overall, despite the fact that this thing is losing way more health. Oh no. Come on. What's up, Buttercups? This is a friendly reminder that this is my first and mostly blind playthrough of Pikmin 4. Please refrain from posting spoilers on upcoming areas, features, characters, or plot points that I haven't experienced yet. However, if you have any tips, tricks, or advice to share, feel free to leave them in the comments. I'm more than happy to learn. With all that said, sit back, grab a snack, and let's get back to Pikmin 4. Thank you! What's up, Buttercups? My name is Scaletree, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Pikmin 4. In the last episode, we got a lot of stuff done. We finished up the Engulfed Castle, we completed a Dandori challenge in Serene Shores, and we basically finished up the daytime there with a couple of extra treasures. We've got a whole bunch of new people around here to talk to. And the camp has been expanded, presumably for the last time in-game. Because Colin said it should be able to fit anyone else we find, but who knows, I might be wrong. In this episode, I'm planning on getting started by chatting it up with some of these new people in camp. But more importantly, like, I need to do this right now, level of importantly. I desperately, desperately need to get Ochi <laughs> some new moves because he's got a lot of pup drive and I just, I, I keep forgetting that you get more pup drive from the night missions. So he has a lot of backlog. Make sure you tackle a variety of training types, okay? That way you and Ochi are sure to steadily improve. I would like to train, thank you. That's the spirit, let's get started then. I have seven pup drive. Oh my goodness. I have been advised to get upgraded command, upgraded chomp, and upgraded rush. For which, if I wanted to get all three, I am exactly one pup drive short, so oops. Let me go ahead and check out what each of these does. This chomp is many times stronger than the original. For example, it can take down a pellet posy in a single bite. Okay, not bad. Rush level 3. Ochi's leg strength increases, giving him a more powerful impact that can defeat more creatures in a single attack. Very nice. Uh, command level 3. If you get lost or just need more of them, you can direct Ochi to gather Pikmin for you when he learns this skill. That's sick. I'm getting that right now. That is so good. I mean, I, it might be redundant to Idler's Alert, but at the same time, in the Dandori challenge I did, I think that would have been super useful because then the rock Pikmin that couldn't cross water could have gotten back to me via Ochi safely on Ochi's back instead of kind of being left in awkward places. <laughs> <laughs> because the idler's alert couldn't get them to come back to me as fast as I would have wanted. So I think that this definitely has its uses. Let's see. And uh, between Rush and Chomp, I'm probably just gonna go with Chomp for now. Because depending on how this works... I might even be able to upgrade Chomp one more time. I don't know what the next level is going to be, so I'm going to spend the two pup drive. Sorry, puppy points. Hi. Who mastered Chomp? Was it you? Yes, it was, Ochi. It was you. Good boy. Now you should be ready to learn an even more powerful skill. Big Chomp. Oh. Oh, dear. With Ochi's Big Chomp skill, his wildest instincts awaken and he leaps at creatures in the air. Oh. Oh, that's sick. That's so cool. Oh my goodness. Okay. I definitely want to save up for that after getting Maximum Rush, since I was informed that that was probably the ideal next thing to do. I don't think I need super buff level 3 just yet. That's... 
that's a pretty significant amount of strength, and I think him being able to move 30 is more than enough for now. You put everything you had into that training! What a good boy, Ochi! Yes, you are! Now I have a special treat for you! Keep up the good work, and remember, no slacking! No slacking indeed, ma'am! No slacking from me! <laughs> oh, wait! We don't have a new Dandori challenge. I have... Oh! Your skill is improving. Well done. Right, because I got platinum, so now I get the extra materials. And now I need to get gold and six. Okay. I almost forgot. Last time I was at camp, I said I would do a Dandori challenge. Because I haven't gotten gold in the first one. I only passed with a silver. And if I want to make my way towards getting more of those raw materials, I <laughs> need to get a gold there. So, hmm. No, I said I would do a night mission, and I'm gonna do a night mission. I'm sorry to those of you who want to see more Dandori challenges. Since I did one last episode, I think I'm going to wait for a little bit before I do the next one. But even before then, I've got some new people to talk to, and perhaps some new quests to get. Hi there! Kapanasu. Kapanasu. My name's Kish. I came to the planet on a field trip with my high school's planetary science club and wound up stranded. Aw, oh, I'm sorry. Kanabayo. I'm grateful for you for rescuing me. Thank you. I was so happy to see Miss Mika and Chiba from the planetary science club are okay. I guess Kaya hasn't been found yet. Mohen? Please keep searching for her. I will. Don't you worry. I don't want to leave anybody behind. Visit Osa- wait, what? I was just gonna do a go here. Can I? <gasps> no way! I can teleport across camp? Hold on. If I do this, I can visit literally anyone I don't have to run around? Oh, that's unbelievable. In a good way, in a good way. I'm grinning so hard. What? What a thing. Magnoro. Magnoro. Hey, you're the one who saved me, yeah? Ha <laughs> ha! Am I ever grateful for you, my friend? I came here to investigate this place from an archaeological perspective. See, I'm trying to reconstruct collapsed structures and really just investigate all sorts of fascinating stuff. Compile. I plan to write a paper based on what I find. Everyone in my field is gonna dig it! <laughs> Just a little archaeology joke there. <laughs> Very funny, sir. So, I heard you use raw materials to make bridges and, well, all sorts of things. Did I get that right? I did? That's great! Just what I wanted to hear. The thing is, I'd love it if you could tell me when you build something. Would you mind? Don't get me wrong, I wouldn't ask you to do it for free. No, no, I'll give you something to show my appreciation. Is it raw materials? Whoa, you built all that? Ten structures. Hey, are you a professional builder? I mean, if you want to talk to a professional builder, I'm pretty sure Corgwin's over there. <laughs> well, you are now. <laughs> oh man, I'm one away? Ah, oh well, that's fine. That just means very soon I'll be able to get even more raw materials. I really gotta visit both of these at some point, too. Maybe I'll stream Piclopedia and Treasure Hoard entries at some point. Just a nice chill stream to relax and talk to my chat. I think that would be fun. Not promising anything, but that does sound like a good time. Also, Russ, you got new stuff? <laughs> Show me the deets! Oh. Power whistle! Hee <laughs> hee! I increased the whistle's range by, well, a lot! It should now be even easier to gather your Pikmin. Oh yeah. I do like a strong whistle. Oh man. Sniff saver. 
Ochi's keen olfactory instincts leave him vulnerable to poisonous aromas, but science can dissolve those toxins. Okay, I was saying, not last episode, but the episode before, that I really hope that something would happen so that Ochi would be better able to deal with poison. There we go. We do have it now. Gunk Busters. Coated in a sealant that repels the gooeyest of gunk, you won't be impacted by sticky paths while wearing these boots. Interesting. Does that mean it's going to become a more common hazard? Hmm. Also, one of the tips that I got specifically said, hey, don't be afraid to use items. I'm going to be honest, guys. I never think about these. <laughs> I never think about having stuff like these, but I feel like that's especially useful. I- oh god, you know, no, 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 no. I don't want to leave. I'm being silly. I made a promise to myself that I would get the Air Armor Plus because Ochi just takes too much damage right now. So I'm doing that for sure. And I'm gonna wait, obviously, because <laughs> the only other thing I can afford is the triple threat, and I'm not really feeling that right now. Probably the next thing I'm gonna get is the power whistle, but we'll see. Okay. Phew. I think that's enough noodling back at camp. Have I really been recording for 12 minutes? Oh, my good grief. I am so <laughs> sorry, everyone. <laughs> Hopefully you guys are cool with the chiller segments of my videos. Yanni, it's time. I am ready to cure one more leafling. How are your night expeditions going? Be sure to keep your guard up out there. Aw, Yanni, you don't have to worry about me. I'm okay. I'm strong. I got lots of tips, like... <laughs> Hey, this is Editing Scale Tree here, coming just to say that this is the part of the video where I mentioned using the glow mob, and <laughs> I just want to make it clear going in, I did not remember to do that. I think I might have tried at some point during the night mission, but I was a little more focused on the second tip that I got to give it as much thought. So here's a front seat question for you all. Is it possible to use a glow mob while commanding Ochi, or would I need Kip Kip back to do it? I'm looking forward to hearing your answers in the comments. Thanks everyone, and I'm sorry in advance for all of the yelling <laughs> that you might be doing in your head. About switching to Ochi? Apparently the glow Pikmin will go with you if that happens, so I can leave Ochi at the... Uh, what's it called? At the Luminol. And, you know, Kip Kip could be on the other side of the map for all we know. But the second I switch to Ochi, all of the available glow Pikmin that aren't, like, busy carrying, carrying uh, glow pellets will go to Ochi. And then he'd be able to do an even better defense of the Luminol without Kip Kip ever having to move. That's rad. And that's a strategy I want to employ now that I have a better grasp on... Well, uh, okay, a marginally better grasp on switching between them. So, let's go. We're returning to the Blossoming Arcadia, and we're gonna do the Sunwashed Plateau. You never know what night expeditions will have in store for you. Make sure you're ready before heading out, new blood. Oh, don't worry, Yanni. I've got this. It still cracks me up that the onion just... <laughs> <laughs> Yeets off into the sky, completely abandoning us. I know why, but it tickles me. Okay. Oh. Let's get started by dismounting. About the glow, Pikmin, you'll need more. Oh, obviously. It's protect the luminal time, Ochi. And this time... I'm going to be a little bit smarter about switching between you. Well, us switching between you. That's just awkward. <laughs> Looks like we've got some up here. Oh, fabulous. Oh, no. 
I'm pretty bad at handling joust mites, I find. I don't know what it is. I'm just not good with them. Think you have enough glow Pikmin? I do not. Those creatures are getting more ac Already? <laughs> I won't let them destroy the luminol if I have anything to say about it. Relax. Lie and wait for them with your mines. I only have, like, one mine. It's not a lot. Really? One more glow pellet. Sheesh. Alright, there are some creatures over there. Hmm. Some over there. I think going down here is my best option for getting more glow pellets. Especially since it, like, it looks like the creatures are going to be coming from, you know, the left or right of this, rather than up and around. Alright, fellas. We've got lots of glow pellets to gather. Ah. Okay. Better not lose, Ochi. Oh. Oh, dear. Hey, hey, easy, easy, easy. Oh boy. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, hey, desiccated skitter leaves. Aren't you just a bundle of joy? Oh boy. Really? These guys? You're joking. Morning can't come soon enough, can it? <laughs> With these night missions? No. Never soon enough. Are... These guys can't eat from the luminal, can they? Are they just here to cause general trouble? Yeah, I don't... Don't know if I have enough glow Pikmin. Focus on protecting after that. I wish I could. Uh oh. Okay, so this thing can affect, affect, ugh, impact and affect the luminol by blowing at it. Well, that's just nuts. Oh boy. Come on. I mean, okay, it doesn't do a lot of damage, but. These things do, and that's clearly what they're trying to make a mess with here, is by having both of these at the same time. Oh boy. It's okay, it's okay. You know what, I'm feeling a lot more confident overall, despite the fact that this thing is losing way more health, oh no. Come on! Oh my gosh. <sighs> These are so hectic! What the hell? For five minutes, it feels like one. Oh my gosh. You put in the effort out there, new blood. I did, thank you. If that's what a level 1 is like, I don't want to know what the level 2s are like here. Good grief. Alright then, new blood, go collect that glow sap. Good lord. Okay. <laughs> well, all that done. Let's get back to camp and uh, decompress after almost losing my entire sanity. Let's go! Oh, yeah. Listening to this music after a night mission makes it all worth it. Harvest successful. Love to see it. We're gonna cure one of the pink leaflings, and we got a new pup drive, which is perfect. Only five glow seeds. That's a little bit of a bummer, but I had, like, no time to collect glow Pikmin that night. It was so fast. <laughs> hey, 
Nice job with the night expeditions. Yeah, uh, it was rough out there this time. Good grief, you're telling me, Colin. I don't get it. Why do Luminos always, well, glow like that? If they didn't light up, they wouldn't attract so many creatures. Mm-hmm. Well, perhaps the Luminals want to draw the creatures towards them. What? But if they get hurt, they can't make glow sap. Or am I missing something here? On this world and others, there are creatures who simply don't grow, don't thrive, if they don't experience danger. No matter how strange that sounds, it's quite possible Luminals are like that. They need to experience danger to thrive. Um... I guess that makes sense. Colin, you do not sound very convinced, and <laughs> frankly, uh, I wouldn't say neither am I, but, you know, that kind of thing does help animals grow and thrive in their own weird way, but, like, too much stress causes a break. Anyway. Right! Administer the cure at once! Yes, Captain. Oh, hello there. Chet from Planet Mihama, the leader of a diverse research task force. It may seem like he doesn't work at all, but he's the glue that keeps the team together. Are you from the same research task force as Osa? Maybe. And don't worry, I'm gonna hear what he has to say. The others I've rescued for this have had some absolutely crazy suggestions, things to say. Let's let's go ahead and visit him using this new feature. Oh, that's sick. I'm I'm not gonna get over that. That's gonna be such a fun time saver. Do you? Do you? Hey, I just wanted to apologize. I can't really do much for you under these well, difficult circumstances. I'm acting as the leader of a research task force. Though its members are all so skilled, they <laughs> hardly need me. It's glue. What I mean is, I'm technically the leader, but the others are the stars of the operation. They make my job easy. Okay. Wombe. Hey, is it okay if I ask a little favor of you? From what I can see, not all of the task force members have been found. I know you're very busy, believe me, but I'd appreciate it if you could also find and rescue my missing team members. If there's anyone who can do this, it's you. Yeah, don't worry about it. I've already got almost half of them. No worries, sir. Believe me, I'm gonna find your buddies, and they are gonna feel so safe back at this camp. This new and improved and way expanded camp. <laughs> All right. I'm not gonna dilly dally. We're talking to Shepard. And we are going back to Serene Shores. All right, rush level three. We're doing it. Good boy. Amazing, Ochi, incredible even. I'd say you've mastered rush. Does that mean you're ready for the more advanced Mega Rush? I warn you, this one's not easy. Mega Rush. This Mega Rush gives Ochi the ability to stun creatures. His energy charges up even faster, too. Oh. Oh, that's nice. It looks like it's a very quick stun, which is good. Because we in this house, we like a nice balanced game. Cool. That's four pup drive, though. No kidding. I can see why. I think that's a reasonable price. Yay! And Ochi gets a treat, as he should. Alright! Excellent! Well, without further ado, Colin? The SS Beagle is prepared for launch. All we need now is a destination. Alright, let's explore. I'm so sorry for continuing to avoid the hero's hideaway, but... Serene Shores? It, it's, it's where everything's happening right now. You really won't deny me my beach <laughs> vacation, would you? I guess it's not really much of a vacation if I'm busy working the whole time, actually. Huh. Maybe I ought to rethink that sentiment. <laughs> oh boy. Here we go! 
Okay. It's, a it's imperative to get the lay of the land. You're gonna tell me to use my survey drone, and while that's a cool idea, I still generally prefer to just go around and check out all the things. Okay. So, high tide. I'm going to keep my purple Pikmin very close to me. Wait a minute! <gasps> you gotta be kidding. You're joking. I'm not doing that today. But, oh wow. Come on, darlings. I think since I want to gradually work my way towards this base, I want to do stuff up here. Maybe around here. Down. I might end this session by going into this cave. I know it was the least voted one, but I guess that will leave the second most voted one as the... Maybe not saving the best for last, but the second best for last, you know? Might be a fun way to end this episode. Um, I think... Keeping the purple Pikmin to that for the first half of the day is going to be a good idea. I really should be using my spices more, just generally. They're so abundant in this game, it feels almost criminal to not use them. What could be under here? Show me. Show me. Whoa. Oh, that's gorgeous. Only 20 Pikmin to carry? I would have thought that would have taken more. Um, okay, hang on, hang on. We only need 20. So one button mashing session later. And it should be moving. Fellas? G guys. Wow, we've collected quite a lot of those red berries now. Have I... Have I really... <laughs> You know, that's hysterical. Did I really collect 13 plus? 13 plus since I used a couple in the Engulfed Castle. That many spices without ever using those berries? Yeah, I have no excuse. I need to use these damn sprays. Yep, it contains lots of ultra spicy essence. Woohoo! Um, do I have enough Pikmin on that? No, I don't. Please just grab it. I'm begging you. 18, 19, 20. There we go. Thank goodness. <laughs> I was about to be like, are you serious? <laughs> All right. Oh no. Are you kidding me? <laughs> That's so rude. That's so rude! Oh my goodness! It just perish, just perish. Thank goodness I have level 3 charge now. <laughs> wow. Incredible. I don't even know what to say. I love having a couple of traps in my Pikmin games, but Aristocrabs? No. That's going too far. Nintendo, you have no idea what you've done to me. Right. May as well grab a couple of my babies back. These fish... Do I really need to worry about them right here? Hmm. It doesn't look like there's any other treasure around here, is there? Hey, Ochi. Can you sniff out some treasure, please? Show me the stuff. Oh. Go ahead, actually, kill these fish. We don't want them causing trouble for future us. Sorry if this commentary is a little bit... clustery. It's been a bit of a long day. I've got my birthday coming up pretty soon. 
and I've done a little bit of shopping for that with my parents. I went to a cute little art exhibition. I didn't talk about it last episode because I was just so desperate to, <laughs> to take care of the wraith. Is this guy okay? What is happening here? Buddy, the berry's here. <laughs> Welp, I'm glad that they're having fun. Oh dear. <laughs> Let's, let's just go across this currently partially submerged bridge. Oh. This place looks like blue Pikmin paradise. Actually, you know what? I'm going to get more blue Pikmin. Ice Pikmin sound like they'd be a good idea for a little bit later. But... I think having as many blues as possible sounds like a perfect idea. All right. Goodbye, Frosties. Hello, Bubbles. Time for us to keep on keeping on while the purple Pikmin do a little bit of housekeeping for yours truly. This area is insanely beautiful, by the way. I think I'm going to probably disband and leave Ochi here. Because he doesn't sink. I think being able to sink is going to be invaluable. Come on! Oh, yeah. We don't want these things living longer than they have to. Oh, no, 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 no. We want to enjoy the underwater ambience here. These things don't get to live. Especially after <laughs> attacking one of my blue Pikmin. Did a Pikmin just meet its end? You guys get so overdramatic. <gasps> Flarlick? Uh-oh. You know, actually... I think that's going to be better to obtain in low tide. If indeed that's something I can do with non-blue Pikmin. As tempting as it is to have all of them right here, right now, I uh, don't trust... Actually, no, the throw speed in water is fine. What am I talking about? <laughs> Do I have my babies coming back for me? I do. Welcome back, fellas! We are so getting this, Flarlick. I'm so happy. What great news. And actually, you know what? Screw it. I have so many of these. I really might as well. These clamp clamps took forever in Engulfed Castle, and I, frankly, am tired of their nonsense. Go long, fellas. Hmm, now is there anything else down here? Looks like there's a banana, and then there's that suspicious Standori thing. Oh! Uh, question of the day, guys. Are you... When it comes to bodies of water, are you more of a lake person or an ocean person? I am not gonna lie to you. I am 100% an ocean person. I grew up by the ocean. It was like 20 minutes away from my home. And even though we didn't visit it an insane amount, it was always just so beautiful and powerful. There's something really magic about the waves. Come here, boy. I should have him do the... what's it called? I should have him do the Pikmin gathering thing later. That's a new skill I gave him. Uh. Oh, yeah. 80 Pikmin, guys! 
We can take out 10 more Pikmin now. This should speed up our search. Hell yeah, Shepard. And we collected six Flarlic bulbs, which means Petunia should be able to give us some new materials. Excellent. Well, I'd say this day is going swimmingly. I am starting to run a little short on recording time, though, for this episode. So I think my goal for the rest of this day is to get to the Sub-Zero sauna. Since it's nice and close, and I think it'll be fun to save the second most voted cave as kind of like the grand finale of this area. Well, maybe not the grand finale, but you know what I mean. The finale of the caves in this spot. I'll check out the Dandori thing later, since I did one just last episode, and I kind of want to keep things a little interesting. And in the meantime, you guys are not moving this fast enough for me. Move harder, slackers! Go, go, go! <laughs> Did you see the way that blue Pikmin was just cha-cha dancing by that slapstick crescent? Oh man. Good times. <laughs> okay. I do see this treasure, by the way. Uh... Uh, you know what? Maybe I'll take a second to grab that, too. Why not? It's not a strict rule that I have to have my episodes under 40 minutes or else I'll die. It's just I want to try to get in one more episode of recording today. And... Yeah. I, I think it's pertinent to keep that in mind. That I'm trying to establish a backlog for my upcoming vacation. Oh. All right, everybody. Go ahead. Make sure to bring our friend the Statue of Liberty safely home. And now I'm going to cut to when that lovely little statue has been absorbed. All right, awesome. We got the treasure, which means now we can finally dive into the Sub-Zero Sauna. So I'm convinced that we're going to have Red Pikmin and Ice Pikmin in here, but I have no idea what this third type is. And I'm kind of squinting at the fact that all three of them are question marks, so maybe I'm completely wrong. But, I mean, I guess we won't know till we go in, right? Oh! Wait, really? You want me to bring Blue and Ice Pikmin, but not Reds? Bizarre. Okay, well... I think I'm going to leave off this episode here. In the next episode, we're going to dive into the Sub-Zero Sauna and see how far we get. <laughs> I think this is going to be a fun cave. It looks really cool. I like the idea that we need to find some way to keep the place warm. So, fingers crossed it's going to be fun. Until then, I hope you guys have a wonderful day! Goodbye, everyone!